Okay. Hey everyone. Um, getting started a little bit early. Looks like we're live. That's exciting. I'm gonna turn on the music. Oh. It doesn't appear to actually be doing anything with the volume. Oh, God damn it! I have too many sound settings. How is that output set to? Yeah, great success. Okay, so I think we're live. Um, I'm gonna be doing some very, very slow uh, updating of uh, PR. Um, mostly I'm gonna be uh, just kind of trying to manually get this one test to work. Uh, combination, so there's a flaky, there's a unit test which used to work back in November before my crash. And then there's also the suggestion that I manually test a piece of it. Um, as well on top of that. So we're gonna try and do both of those today. Um, and we'll, we'll sort of see how that experience goes. Um, I'm hoping it goes okay. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Switch it over to live. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring up the PR that I'm talking about. Uh, actually, I think this might be the PR right here. Okay, so we're gonna reload this. Um, and this is actually the part right here. Um, so one of the things that was suggested to me is uh, there's a part which had been in synchronous. It was suggested I make it. Ooh, I'm gonna fix this. It was suggested that I make it asynchronous. Um, and I I did that, and I think that's fine. But I think it might have actually broken how I do the test. I'm not sure if it actually broke how it functions. I'm, I'm pretty sure the asynchronous one works fine. But I think the test only works in synchronous mode. Now, I could be wrong on this. And um, that's going to be an adventure that we're going to go on and find out. And the other part is... Um, where is it? Do, do, do. It's down here somewhere. Uh, okay, so we can see this comment thread here. Um, and so this is essentially, this is the part where I add this lifecycle step. Um, and the comment is just like, hey, will this get triggered if Spark itself stops the executors when you turn on dynamic allocation? Does the code behave as it should in that case? And my belief is like, yeah, this, is, this should work just fine uh, with Spark um, itself turning off the executors and uh, we went back and forth a little bit, and uh, Marcelo Van Zin uh, essentially was just like, yeah, please, please test this manually. Um, although the confusing thing is here he says, do whatever uh, you need to convince yourself that nothing bad is happening. I'm already convinced that nothing bad is happening because I don't, I don't understand how something bad could happen. Uh, but I think, I think we could be a little extra sure and, and probably make him happy. Uh, if we just um, spun this up and ran it um, and triggered a dynamic scale up and dynamic scale down. Uh, so we'll try and do that too. The first part though is the, the message doesn't appear to be working right now. I think that's related to making it asynchronous. So we're going to try and go ahead and make it synchronous and we're going to hope that does the trick and life is happy. Um, of course, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of times when I, I say things like that and um, my my gut is is not right. Uh, so one of the things is I, I put in these print lens instead of loggers, and this is just... The, the test logging is, is super annoying. Um, it's not great practice. Take it out before we push it upstream. But for now, just, you know, between friends and YouTube strangers and Twitch uh, friends, and strangers. Uh, we'll just, you know, keep this as is. So 
Uh, this is inside of the Kubernetes suite. What was I going to go ahead and do here? Uh, okay. It's like coarse grained scheduler backend. Okay. So, first things first, we want to move this up to. Uh, there's a send, uh, receive, and reply. So we're going to go ahead and put this in receive and reply. And uh, context.reply. Decommissioning executor. So uh, first step. The next step is to figure out where it is I send this decommissioning executor message. And my memory is not great here. Um, it's inside of the integration test. I'm going to do my handy trick. Resource managers. I've just. Hmm. That's weird. Core SRC? Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess we actually, we don't send it explicitly inside of the Kubernetes code. So... Yeah. Oh, I got this ridge file hanging around. Um... Looks like it's inside of the course grain executor backend is where we send the message. So that's what we're going to do. And this is... I really hope this works. If it doesn't, you know, that's... That's all right. Um, these things happen. But then we have a, a lot more sort of debugging to do. Um, and we'll do this as a Boolean ask. So let's go ahead trigger the compile. We'll just do that over here explicitly. We're not going to do a clean compile, but we'll do a compile. With Maven. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if the bot is working today. I'm gonna bring up Twitch and see if we've got any friends on Twitch to say hello to. If anyone wants to say hello, you know, it's nice to have people to, to chat with while tests are running. Um, the other thing I guess we can do, although I wanna wait for this to compile, is um, once this compiles, I'm going to build a, a Docker image so that I can I can do the scale up test, um, the manual scale up test. Uh, but we will wait for it to finish compiling uh, first before we do that. It looks like all of our friends are on YouTube, but no one's particularly chatty today, besides myself. That's normal. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, if anyone's interested, while we're hanging out here waiting for the compilation to finish, um, do we want to hang out here waiting for the compilation to finish, or do we want to? Actually, let's, let's go ahead and um, talk through the test a little bit more, because that'll just also help me. Um, remember what's going on because it's, it's been a while so the kubernetes suite here starts a starts a new watcher um, and this this watcher just gets notified when uh, pods are scheduled and the thing that we want to do here is get notified when the executors are scheduled so we're looking for uh, things with the spark role executor and so we we wait for these these pods to come up and then uh, when it's added, we uh, go ahead and, and put this in. Um, and then if we're doing a decommissioning test, 
Um, and it's our first first exec pod. Uh, we go ahead and start doing the decommissioning. Um, but if it's not a decommissioning test, then we don't we don't delete it. Um, and this is this is a little strange to have this in the Kubernetes suite, um, but this is just like it's it was a lot easier to modify the event watcher here and just do it with a flag, and it's it's inside a test code, so and yeah, it's, it's I'm okay with this. Uh, this sleep is a little ugly. Um, I guess we could use a listener. Maybe, wait, do I have the Spark context? Are we submitting? I don't actually remember what mode we're submitting in. No, because the driver pod is, is scheduled outside of us, so I actually can't can't use a listener here. Uh, to know uh, sort of when our job has started because that's we want to wait for the for the job to, to start and, and hang around okay Oof. I think there would be less to compile maybe I accidentally did a clean compile which I've done before and I didn't mean to say oh. la vie Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. What part are we compiling right now? I don't know. Oh, uh, I guess this is what happened. Did I change? I changed core. And once you change core, everything else gets recompiled. Damn it! That's that's the joys of of changing core. Um, I think, unfortunately, that this part is. Oh, hey! We we have a friend on Twitch. Hello, Twitch friend. Uh, I I don't know how to pronounce. Yuvarged, maybe Yuvarged, 85? Maybe, you can tell me how to pronounce your name uh, if you want. But I'm I'm glad we have a friend. It's nice to have friends around. It makes life less boring. Um, hey, UV. It's, it's nice to meet you, UV. So right now we're we're waiting on uh, on our Spark to compile, uh, which even on my desktop computer takes takes a little while, um, even with an SSD and a lot of RAM. Though I guess the com uh, it's not that old. It's not that old. I bought this back when I worked at Google. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is so much fun, and by so much fun, thanks, UV, um, I'm, I'm happy I can, I can type a little bit nowadays, that's exciting, uh, definitely, still, still working on getting better, um, but I hope you're doing good too, um, I hope, I hope life is life is rocking for you. Oh yeah, sure, cool. Let's let's talk about case classes while we wait for um, Spark to compile. Now is now is a great time for what case class it is. Thank you. That's that's very sweet. That's very sweet. Um, yeah. But case classes, really, really happy to talk about case classes. Oh, I'll wait for 
magic computer box. Turn up some of the 8-bit music to keep it going. What part are we up to right now? Don't know. Uh, Okay, yay! I think it's finally packaging things is my guess. Scala made a plugin, no compiling. SQL Hive, damn it. There is a lot of stuff in here. Um, Okay, is it possible to generate a case class from a string object which has the value defined from the case class? I.e. valster equals case class name ID and name string. Ah, uh, that's interesting. So my, my first instinct is to say yes. Um, yeah, I think we can totally do that. Uh, I don't think it would necessarily be a great experience. Um, but let's, let's take a look. Uh, uh, do, do, do. So, yeah, so this is in Scala 2.11, oh, okay, you want to get a schema and use it to find a data set. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, yeah, okay, so... Scala macros, case classes. Problem is, I don't. Is this Scala 2.11 or 2.12? Um, Cause it looks like, it looks like it might be doable. Um, so let's, let's put this in here. Um, would be doable uh, using a macro plugin, but I'm not sure about in 2.12. Um, so I'm, I'm just not sure in Scala 2.12. So let's take a look. Uh, Scala 2.12, uh, quasi quotes. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So so, yeah, I, I think this should work. Yeah, I think this should work in two twelve too. Uh, I think this could work in, in 2.12 as well. I, I could be wrong, though. Um, I, I remember that there could be some catches, but I'm not finding anything here. Um... Take a 
look here. Do, do, do. Cool. Compilation succeeded. Let's go ahead and kick off our integration tests. Hopefully, it'll run. It'll give us some debuggable output. Worst case scenario, it'll run, it'll fail, and it'll be super annoying. Um, so this is three years old. see here. Now, why is it recompiling everything? Oh, is this doing a clean compile? It shouldn't be. This is the same maven. Why is it not? Oh, damn it. Wait, is this the same maven? I'm confused. Are they using different mavens? Yeah, it should work in, in 2.11 as well. Yeah, it, it should. It should work in 2.11. Mm. Okay, cool. These aren't actually the tests, but for some reason it prints that out every time. Oh, right, it's doing a test compile. Right, that's why. Uh, we did it over here. We just did a regular uh, compile package and we skipped the tests. And so now it's automatically generating uh, Docker containers that it'll use for the, for the integration test. Um, this takes a while. It's all right, though. Don't really got anywhere else to go for a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, creating with Python one, which still has Python two seven inside of it. That's interesting. Huh. all takes. I wonder why we don't build the containers in parallel. Huh. I guess I'm make debugging it a pain in the ass. Eh, but not that much of a pain in the ass. Uh, part of me wants to take a look at it. And the other part of me wants to leave well enough alone. Okay, now we're actually starting our test. Begins 
to watch the executors. It adds it. We wait for the pod to become okay. We trigger the deletion event. Another add event occurs. And then after a little bit of time, uh, the decommissioning Python one should finish. And that's just a uh, decommissioning. This is just a test, and, and really the only thing it does is sleep for 10 seconds. Um, so in 10 seconds time, we should either see the test succeed or fail. If it succeeds, I am semi-happy. Actually, if it succeeds, I'm happy. If it fails, I'm not sad, but is not a great outcome. Uh, it means that this thing that used to work is not, not so much anymore. Um, although it, it will be an interesting path to go down and debug. So that's that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll find a way to make it work both ways. It'll be very entertaining. I really hope it succeeds. Because um, debugging the, the test manually uh, here is a little annoying, and I really want to just do the second part of the test manually, uh, which is the part where we make sure that scale up, scale down, um, with, with Spark's dynamic scaling, interplays nicely with uh, decommissioning. Um, so we'll see. Hmm. Actually, yeah, no, let's do it that way. Um, the, the thought that I had, ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, well, that did not behave in the way I was hoping it was going to behave. Oh, goddamn. Well, isn't that fun? Okay. We run Spark Submit. Sure. Uh, I'm actually curious. Let's see here. No, okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. So here we go. Um, we see Spark start. Um, then we we see an executor submitting two missing tasks. Started. Started started and then interestingly enough we see this executor one lost right away which is kind of weird because uh, i wasn't expecting this like the timing there doesn't sense I wonder if it's just a timing matter I don't think so uh, we can let's go back here I don't think it's just a matter of timing I can go ahead and can bump this 3,000 up to a 5,000 we're gonna go ahead we're gonna run the test again while it's running we're gonna start monitoring it so uh, so, this will get us the pods in the Spark namespace, which is the namespace we're running our test in. Uh,
cycles through. That's, that's moving forward. Okay, these are probably going to be the tests and core that we want to ignore. Yeah, those are the core tests that just doesn't actually do anything. Prints out a bunch of green and make you feel happy and optimistic. Don't worry, our optimism will soon be crushed. Do this real gentle stretching. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So we see this executor come up. Uh, I want its logs. Ah. Okay. So this is the thing. It's getting a sig term. Uh, and I want it to get a sig power. Not a sig term. Okay, so it looks like the signal isn't getting triggered. <sighs> okay. I can get this now. Cube. Oh, uh. Oh, namespace spark. Alright, well, so. again. Now, what I'm going to do is debug this. I want to make sure that we're actually creating the resource with the configuration that I, I expect it to be being created with. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bump this five up to a seven. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and run this again. Uh, hopefully it's something stupid in the, the refactor or the update. Um, of course, you know, that's not always the case. Oh, okay, I should point out, um, the, the T part is so that I can see what's going on. Um, so I can open it up in Emacs and search and stuff. I don't have to depend on, uh, my, my shell history. Okay, cool. Those executors are... going away anyways. Oh, God damn it. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, okay, for the next time we go through this... There's a... Wait, did it, it rebuild the containers or not? I don't remember seeing it rebuild the containers. Whatever. Oh, it did, but it didn't take so long because they're all cached. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is our executor. Rockin'. So the executor finishes the task, and it gets a SIG term. Okay. So now, inside of this thing called pods log, I guess. Here we go. Executor. Okay. Consists of the container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can see there is a lifecycle pre stop command, and it is calling decom dot sh ostensibly the received signal term. Signal utils. Okay, it's called signal utils. Term pop in. So it, it probably did receive a sick term, but the question is, why did it receive a sick term? Ah, uh, termination. Message path. took this out because I didn't think I needed it anymore to debug this because I thought it worked. But it doesn't look like it's working. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay. 
So really, this should be waiting 60 seconds, but it's not. deletion <sighs> I'm not sure how I want to debug this um So these are these are some of the things that I'm thinking about uh, that we could do. We could wait lifestyle equal pre-stop exec command. Pre-stop something. Inside of here. Okay. Pre-stop. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. Um. Okay, grace period seconds. Let's go take a look. Grace period seconds. 30 seconds. So we should have gotten a 30 second sort of wait. My wonder is here. So we put in 30 seconds here. Just hypothetically. Let's just try and see if it takes 30 seconds for that executor to actually exit. The test should still Fail, mind you. Okay. The test should still fail. Um, although it's possible that, like, Screwed up something in the decommissioning script. Um, okay, so let's give myself more time to figure out what's going on. One hundred and twenty seconds. Not actually, we're not actually going to push these numbers upstream, uh, but this way I can do a kubectl exec, and then I can manually try and trigger the decommissioning uh, script myself and see if it's the decommissioning script that's broken, uh, which is quite possible, or if it's uh, something else. <sighs> that all. I can just trigger the decommissioning script and see if the decommissioning script works. It's possible something else has changed, which breaks the decommissioning script. And it's not the asynchronous synchronous change that I thought it was. 
Uh, but you know, these these things happen. Um, Because I did, I did change the decommissioning script as well. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't change it separately from everything else. Uh, uh, the music is over. Uh, I guess I can put the music back on. find no this is free but you don't show me the license uh, let's go ahead Rebuilding a whole bunch of images. Because we updated the decom script, we actually do want to rebuild the images. So this makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Okay, here's some ostensibly public domain. Ape it music. That's uh See how it works out. Well, oh, this is not a big music. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see here. Chip tune. That's the genre. Let's see if that works. Oh, damn it. Okay. I got distracted because that's who I am. Uh, what? Oh, God damn it. Uh, cubes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Cool. PS command not found. So that's 
That's why our software stopped working. The base image was changed, and it doesn't have the ps command anymore. I... I'm a little bit frustrated. I... I don't... I don't the, the ps command is not found? What the... God damn it. Well, that answers some questions. Um, that really is annoying. I bet they don't have the find command either. Fuck. I don't... God damn it. This used to work. Then they strip things down even more. Okay, this is... This is Ubuntu Xenio? What? We have the JDK, and we don't have... No... Well, that's... I... I feel like... I feel like... Maybe I'm looking at the wrong Docker file. That is... That's the only way... Okay. Uh... Well. Here's some epic music by Kelpush, Kelpish. Um, unfortunately, the genre entries are freeform, but the genre search is not. So that's not great, but that's okay. Okay. So I have an executor again. Wait, the sudo command is not found? Uh, I have find and I don't have ps, okay. Probably not in slash proc. Do I have less? I don't have less. Okay. Uh... Okay. I have grep, and I don't have. I wonder where the PID file is written. Normally there's a PID file written, but... I don't... I don't have PS with the... Docker file is this? This is Spark Externals. Okay, so that's that's. No, no, no. Uh. Okay. This is by the new mystical. Let's go ahead, let's find another Docker file. Uh, I 
think the Python one is gonna. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Okay, this is the one that I actually care about. And I think what I want to do, and then I think our code will magically start working, is we want ps installed. I, you know, that's, uh, I guess this is the OpenJDK slim. It's very slim. I think that might be a certain amount of false economy. Let's run it again, and I think this will, this will hopefully start working. Ah, oh, thank God. I hope. I hope. And then we can move on to the next thing. Uh, let's try this song by Elvis. It's called Elvis Herod, Unusual Dreams. Um, yeah. Rockin'. Rockin'. This is a lot of fun, and by a lot of fun, I mean sitting here waiting for things to run, which is, like, normally... Oh, fuck, goddamn. I bumped my wrist. That... fucking hurt. Oh, goddamn it. <sighs> okay. life but this I'm I'm excited I think our code might start working I I now have a reason why it doesn't work anymore besides it's just like kind of throwing random shit at a at the wall um so that's exciting it's it's and also even if this doesn't fix it. At least I have PS installed so I can figure out what the hell's going on a little bit better. Um, so we will... We'll see how that goes. Cool. Eh. Oh, I really hope this works. I really hope this works. Hungry. <sighs> Okay. 
cool. It's the same thing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bounce into executor one. We have PS. Okay, cool. Okay. So it looks like our DCOM script isn't great in whichever version of bash this is. Okay, so PS AXF, cool. I put to grab Java, great. Uh, so let's take a look at tcom.sh. Could be yeah. Oh, oh, maybe I had a cut that got left off in the rebase somehow because I I made some changes. So yeah, okay, this makes sense. Grep dash v grep. I had a magic incantation. It used to work. Let's go ahead and take a look uh, at decom.sh. Yep. Uh, here we go. PSX. Huh. I don't know how this used to work. Totally did at some point. It just the kill wasn't expect. I don't know. Ah, uh, computers. Okay. Well, so uh, let's go ahead. So, uh, our question of the day is: Ash uh, get pid of a process of a process by name. Sure. Um, oh, cool. Probably don't have pre grep in installed. Uh, huh. Let's take a look at the PS docs. dash c java I think this sounds like this should do the trick yes oh okay dash c It's my wife, she just got home. No, I am doing a live stream. Uh, and I have some code, which I'm like 90% sure used to work. 
but does not appear to currently work. And I can't figure out why it used to work. I know why it's broken. Oh no, what's wrong? I think I forgot why it worked. It's okay. Do you need boo? Okay, be careful of your head. You often hit your head. No. This is Carolyn and this is Boo. Honey. Boo is really sweet. Mm -hmm. So are you. I think Boo is in the pocket of my work sweater. Rolf. Or not Boo, Rolf. Yeah. Yes, yes. Just, uh, it's okay. I got Boo. Okay. He does like snacks. Oh, I kept trying to eat the O-rings. I know, you shouldn't <gasps> eat the O-rings. But They're... they were in a Tupperware. The forbidden snacks. I had a, a dish of keyboard snacks. dampers. Well, those little tubsums normally do have snacks. Yeah, we should. Oh, yeah, what do you want to do for dinner tonight, eh? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, also, I've been putting together our grocery order. Ooh. I'm very excited. Very excited. Thinking about eating cereal. For dinner? Hmm. Would be better than last night. Yeah, I was going to buy some beans. Oh, that's good, because... <laughs> All of our beans were expired, and that's why I used those weird beans. Yeah. I ruined dinner last night. No, you didn't ruin dinner. You tried to innovate, and we needed an unexpected pivot. Yes. Yes. I love you. I love you, too. It, it did not go well. It did not go well at all. But that's okay. Um, okay. No water. Okay. Bye, friends. Bye. Uh, okay. We got the thing at 8 o'clock, right? Tonight? Or not. Okay. It's okay. I think I might try and do an internet food order soon. Maybe. I'm working on it. Oh, here's another song by Elvis. A rod. Okay, what was I going to do? I got distracted. Okay. <gasps> What's the present? Oh, salt and vinegar. I love my wife. I love my wife. That's totally legit. Do you need a hug? Let me see if I can open this bag of chips. Oh! The sea salt and vinegar is medium salty. Yes. Is that those or those? Yes. It's the brand, but they have a slightly different... Yeah. Mmm. 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 This is delicious. I really hope we have tail. Um, if not, I'm get frustrated. That's okay. I get to be frustrated. I'm excited though. This this could go well. <laughs> mm. potato chips with salt and vinegar. These are my favorite. Um, salt and vinegar. Uh, spironolactone, which is one of the drugs a lot of trans folks takes, tends to make you really like uh, the taste of salt. And growing up in Canada, I also just ate a lot of salt. Mm-hmm.
qua okay maybe this is the one where I can oh, sorry slash opt damn it oh no 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 not not you um damn it was like Magic Computer Box did not do. Why did this not work? Oh. Interesting. I have, I am curious. Spark. That's weird. It appears to have exited, which is not the behavior I was expecting. Huh. Like there's no more Java process inside of this place. It exited immediately. Now it did get a SIG power. So... Hmm. Unsupported message. Okay. That is why it failed. Lovely. making good progress. We've narrowed it down a little bit. Um, we've installed PS, which that's pretty solid. Um, we've updated the DCOM script, which also I think that's good. And what's the... what are we stuck on now? Okay. Oh. I, I, so. Um... Okay. Hit up the Java process. Okay. Um, don't want to commit this one. This one. Although, coarse grained executor backend. So, let's go ahead, coarse grained. Executor backend on Scala. Um, okay, let's go find. Okay. Okay, so this is confusing because it said done decommissioning self and then returned true. Um, so. 
Uh, I think, okay. So I have a signal handler. Uh, okay. Okay, um... No, no, signal. Okay, signal handling, there we go. No, no, no. Java POSIX signal handler. Okay, sig power java. Uh, here we go. Sig power. Interesting. We could swap power for a more uh, reasonable. Okay. We could swap sig power for sig quit. No. I think sig power is really someone that I want. Um. Sig user one, sig user two might already be taken. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Sig power return value. I want to indicate that sig power is handled, or do I just need to? This is not behaving the way. I don't want to. I don't want to block it. Um, Java mark signal. Uh. 
I don't. What? No. Mask signal. So, yeah, I forgot. Signal your tells. Why is this? This didn't. Oh, God damn it! Probably the JVM version updated, and now it's behaving differently. Used to work. I can put a thread sleep in there, it's not great. Uh, well, well. One of the suggestions that came up. was that we should have a failsafe where the executor eventually exits. So this is a little jank though. I don't like this solution. But let's give it a shot and see if it see if it works, right? Um so my plan is I'm gonna go into Core screen, uh, actually, core screen executor back in I already got that one up. Uh, decommission self. self. Okay. Done decommissioning self. Waiting. One hour and exiting. Um, okay. Uh, let's see if we have a duration already in there. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, the thread which is maybe what I want to do let's let's try this um, sure let's uh, let's let's see if this works.
If it does, we'll deal with it later. Uh, I see thread in here. Oh, it's thread utils. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna read signal utils and figure out like. Ah, oh, interesting. So we're returning true though, so it shouldn't be escalating the signal. So that should be fine. I don't know why this is exiting right away. Hmm. I don't I don't like this. I want to understand it rather than just hacking it. But on the other hand, if, well It got sick power and then it exited. I don't really exit with anything else. I got an idea too that I want to add to decom.py. Oh, we already do. Uh, we, okay. Make sure that the job still runs. Why is this not doing? We want this to time out, is the thing. Um, yeah, whatever. That's a it's a fail safe. We'll call it a, a fail safe. Um, sure. Uh, do we have Java util? Okay, we'll call. Sure, whatever. It's not ideal, but uh, let's see if it works. If it works, that's great. And if it doesn't, um, well, we'll deal with that later. But let's uh, let's see if it works first. If my theory is correct, before I spend a lot of more time trying to do it the right way, because uh, I like I'm 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 worried that it's exiting as soon as I call decon. That as soon as it gets sig power. It shouldn't be exiting as soon as it gets sig power. Like that that doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, 
Let's have a lang throw, damn it. There we go. Oops. Okay, hopefully this does the trick. And then uh, we can call this. The other thing that I was interested in taking a look at... Um, so while we're doing this, the, the comment around dynamic scaling is the part that I am curious about. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think I've got a an answer to um, to this part over here. Which is this part. It's a different mechanism. Um, so, okay, and here we go. Uh, here's our Cool. I'm gonna go ahead a second here. Trigger the deal. So that's the thing. It's in sig power and then it exits. Huh. Because it didn't use to exit immediately. Did we change? I bet we changed the string that we launch Java with. And the handler is still there. And so it's getting. Let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at executor number two. So while we're here. So we don't have dash exercise. I think it's going to be over here. It's entry point. Okay.
Let's see if that does the trick. Um, I don't know why it's exiting right after SIG power. It should not. Oh! Wait. Is it? Ah! Wait, 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 wait. This looks like old code. Right? Decommissioning self, done decommissioning self. Okay. So maybe we don't need XRS. Maybe we just need. Try this first. We'll keep the, the XRS uh, thing in our back pocket and uh, hopefully that goes somewhere. How are we doing? Oh, okay, yeah, we're still getting this. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, okay, we have different versions of the in different places because it's not clean. Uh, while we're here, um, let's see here. What do we want to do? Uh, we're going to go ahead and swap that ask into a send. Into ascend, then over inside of course grain scheduler back end. And we just moved it from receive and reply and receive, so it should take the one minute message now. And uh, let's go ahead. Uh, this used to be on the other side of remove worker, didn't it? Okay, let's just go ahead and put that back. All right, because it's uh, executor, not worker. Okay. Uh, okay. Simplify uh, decom script. Do not depend on strings. So that's a good thing. Uh, what else? We're not going to change the entry point right now. Yeah. All right. The rest of these things are fine for now. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna commit them. Uh, so we can just. Well, we might commit this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Uh, 
actually, you know what? No, but the message is getting through. So there's no exception that's happening. But I say that. Uh, Ah, let's let's just do Xen compile with this and uh, go from there. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So when we this is like. Kill executors in the kids backend. We first send um, move executor. So that is course kind scheduler backend. Uh, yeah. So yes. Let's remove the executor. So when we kill executors, we first go through asking it to exit. Uh, so Uh, if uh, if it doesn't exit, see. So this would be line. Ah, uh, I want to go back here. Uh, yeah, line 153. Uh, we do a delete. Now, the decommissioning script would be triggered in that event and would keep the executor live for the length of the timeout, uh, timeout period configured. Um, and let's could keep the executor. Um, I think that's okay. That's okay, uh, given that. Timeout period should be set to something not too long, and most of the executors likely um, exit when asked by Spark and don't have to be uh, cleaned up uh, by my kids. Um, Let's see, is there a delete without grace? Um, 
complete without grace, period. Um, okay. Uh, that being said, okay, that being said, Not okay. Uh, from supports a uh, force deletion with no grace period, uh, regardless of the pods configuration. Do do do. Okay, cool. Hey, we have a princess. Princess La. Um, yeah, this is kind of, he's much slower than I expected. I was expecting this to be really fast, which is how I should always know that this is never going to work as planned. Uh, but uh, we are, we're making some progress. Um, we figured out why the old decommissioning script wasn't working. Uh, namely, someone took out PS and the old decommissioning script depended on PS. While we were there, we noticed it was doing things with grep, and those things with grep were maybe not ideal. Uh, so fix that. And so that's exciting. Um, and now I'm in a weird situation where the SIG power seems to be causing my executor to exit immediately, which is not my expected sort of path forward. Um, and it also, the message is getting sent not in the way I was expecting. And so I think we need a clean compile. So I think that's where we're at. Hopefully this will do the trick. And it'll take a little while for us to get there. Um, the other thing that we've done is there's been this discussion around this ex basic executor feature step and so we've sort of gone through this um there was a like hey can you test this i'm worried they're going to interact and so i i did what i tend you yeah you don't want to know what i was doing with grep i grep for java and then i gripped for not job for not grep <sighs> which was which was silly, but my bash is sometimes not ideal. Um, yeah. Anyways. Um, so I, I talked this through. We'll see if Marcelo accepts my explanation and the trade-offs that I've described here, which is more or less like, hey, this is not ideal. Um, you know, by by a long shot, I, I think we can say fairly. But, uh, you know, it, it should be okay. Uh, and uh, maybe he'll agree with that. The odds aren't great, but it's possible. It could happen. Maybe, Maybe he'll be like, you know what? This sounds fine. Um, and I mean, right now the default is 30 seconds. So right now there's an edge case where if Spark is in dynamic allocation and uh, graceful decommissioning is enabled and a pod fails to exit cleanly when asked by Spark, it will spin for an extra 30 seconds. I'm okay with that, because for one thing, I don't think that'll happen all that often. Um, like, if, if you're, and, and I think in the situations where you have a bunch of stock JVMs, you have other problems uh, that are not this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's an okay trade-off. 
to be fair, I think it's an okay trade-off in part because making that not the trade-off is probably a lot of code. Actually, not even a lot. It's probably upgrading some code, so it's not all that much code, just a lot of really annoying code. Um, and, and I have enough of that in my life right now. More than enough of that, I would say. Okay, cool. So we're doing a clean compile of Spark. Um, so that's going to be a while. <sighs> kind of want to go make more tea. I think, I think, oh, uh, that is a lovely question. How long has this issue been dragging on for? So, this specific instance of the PR is from November 8th. Now, if we look at this branch name, you'll see this dash R4 here, which really just says, oh God, oh God, what's been going on? So, we go over here, we search for this, we go into closed, go into closed, okay. I don't know why this number came up. And here we go. No, uh, okay. So there's one from December 4th, 2018. Um one from February. There's a reference to it. I know I have more PRs in here. I think there's we're gonna drop this. I think we're gonna find something else. I think it was under a different Jira tag previously, maybe. Um, nope. Nope. This is all 2016. It's still 2016. 2015. Starting this no, it's still 2015. Uh, maybe okay, let's try decom. No. No, maybe it's just this one. Maybe the earlier ones didn't make it. Um this was originally created August 24th, 2017. Uh, and this was my second attempt at it. The first attempt predated me uh, trying to make a PR. I probably talked to other people about it, and uh, it didn't go very far. So for me, uh, this project is old. I would like to fix it. I would really, really like to fix it. I think this is the year. I think 2020 is the year. Uh, I really, in theory... Oh, September. That's... That's pretty close. That's pretty close. When is my first... My first commit on this um, in the branch that made it into public is from May 12th. But there's 16 commits there, which means that it's probably not actually from May 12th. It's probably from before then. Anyways, as we say, happiness is an illusion. Uh, what is What is your issue from September 2017? Oh no, reopening bugs are the worst. Let's take a look at this while we're compiling. Oh. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Good luck. Uh, this is... I've discovered the problem is worse than I originally thought. Is on point. That... I feel that. I've discovered the problem is worse than I originally thought. That'd be a really good tattoo. Hi, Emma. Uh, what, what do you want to zoom in on? Oh, yeah, so I should be clear, because this is the path of sadness, um, good, good catch, um, we're, we're updating the Python packages because the specific functionality that I'm trying to test right now is down in uh, Spark's Kubernetes uh, integration. And so it's building some containers. Normally building Spark does not involve updating all your Debian packages, but when you're changing the Kubernetes integration, the, the easiest way is to just let it do that. Um, especially because I, I wanna make sure the new code gets inside. And we, you know, it's a long story. The, the people that made these images, you wouldn't think it looking at the list of packages being installed, but they are very, very space conscious when it comes to the core image. And so, yeah, yeah. Anyways, it's good. Everything is good. Everything's great. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The R image, you know, is a little less space conscious because it's, it's R. It's gonna it's gonna take up some room. Okay, let's still Elvis. Ah, uh, Harold. Um, this is end sugar. Okay, cool. I am going to do terrible things. We're going to get the logs of this container. I'm going to go jump inside of it. First, we're going to run this. And I'm going to run the decom script. God damn it. So the, the worker is exiting immediately, and it is not supposed to. Ah. Ah. Wait, it worked? Hmm. I'm not sure it worked as intended. Because if I look here... One second later, the driver commanded a shutdown. I'm curious if the driver is crashing. Because it, it it shouldn't it shouldn't be behaving like that. 
But I'm an inspiration. That's uh, thanks. Um, so yeah, something something is behaving a little differently than I expected. Although the test case is now passing, um, but that that only does that only does so much. Um, you know. I think the test case is passing. It's exiting. But, you know, it's actually... Mm, I find it suspicious that it's, it's exiting right away. Uh, I am mildly confused here. But I think I think we can narrow it down. I think it'll be I think it'll be less confusing soon. I'm optimistic. Mildly so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. It's kicking off the executors. So I want the logs here this time. I want to see. Yeah, okay, so we're waiting to give the notes time to finish. I'm going to go ahead, jump on here, trigger a decommission. Um, And that's the ticket. So actually, it, it looks like maybe the timing is just... Yeah, let's see here. Is the timing just suspicious? Yeah, actually, that's that's two minutes. That's probably that's thanks, thanks, Ahmed. Uh, sorry, I'm a little. I'm just sometimes. Anyways, I think this is good. I think the timing is just suspicious, but no, that doesn't. I'm gonna. I think it's more than just the time. I think, I think it could be. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I want to test this theory manually. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, temporarily, lose decom time. Okay, it's fine. The note that it's just temporary in there means that you know if I push it and I don't push a revert, people will remind me to, so that's kind of cool. And I'm really hoping this is the trick. But I, you know, it might also not be. It might be that SIG power and the JVM are just not behaving the way that they used to, uh, or we're missing we the the flags changed uh, or something else has changed it's the it's the joys of computers okay okay
Potato chips. I like my spookies. They're good potato chips. Not sponsored. Mm -hmm. Let's test by. We're going to build these containers. Hopefully, that'll do the trick. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it ten more minutes, and then I'm gonna just wrap as we are. Ah, uh, and um, save. Save the investigation for another day. Uh, so if, if this one doesn't fix this, the, the interesting corner case that we got going on, uh, we will deal with the, the magic of SIG power and XRS uh, later. Although, actually, maybe we'll, we'll do an XRS commit before we, before we go. Uh, and that'll be okay. So we can do a git stash. Add in XRS, commit it, and push it. Uh, but I do want to do this one last test locally, uh, manually to just you know check and make sure. Okay, installing all these app packages. Thank you, Debian Mirrors. For your gracious service. Uh, can I ask how you plan to celebrate when this is finished? Um, most likely making another cup of tea and going to try and find food that resembles dinner. I'm thinking at this point it's probably either hot dogs or pasta. Uh, both of which are actually, you know, pretty exciting to me. Um, I think I think that's my plan. Um, maybe see if I got a bar bottle of Martinelli's. Um, still can't drink because uh, of the drugs I'm on um, from the accident. Or maybe not accident, crash is a more accurate uh, phrase. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead. Logs here. Okay. Trigger decom.sh. Okay. And so this Okay, so if we go look in decom.sh, oh, oh, when this issue slash PR is finished, ah, uh, that's a that's a good question. I'm I'm really hoping um, by then I can have uh, maybe a really fancy cup of coffee. Yeah, probably go and get a really really fancy cup of coffee and uh, start working on the next PR. This is one of a series of four that I want to do to enable the functionality that uh, I'm looking at. Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to go hmm. uh, Yeah, 
what I'm what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay. What else do I want to push upstream here? Okay, definitely not that. Definitely not any of this. Um, there was that one shell script that I wanted to try. It's the entry point. Uh, Java signal handlers. Uh, Java signal handler XRS. Huh. Yeah, well, XRS may drop performance by 2%. So let's. Not do that. Uh, okay, I don't think that's the issue then. Actually, yeah, so it's not the issue over here. Because its stop is getting called inside of the coarse grained executor backend. Uh, our core screen. Oh, I did say ten minutes. Uh, I did say ten minutes. Okay. Um. Oh, whatever. Okay. Spark core. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Here we go. That uh, scale aggregator thing is, that's a little off. Uh, okay. I think, let's take a look at the git diff. How's this looking? Yeah, I want to stash all of these. So I don't think they're what's going on. Okay, get stash. I'm going to do uh, get log. I want to revert this one. Hence the word temporary. And now we're going to do a get push. Okay, cool. So I think that's it for me today. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I really think two more minutes might do it. Um... Let's take a look at the part that I think I think it's going to be in here. I want to trace the decom mission part through. So decommission executor. Scheduler backend, so we're inside of course scheduler backend. Course grained executor backend. Screen scheduler backend. Yeah. 
can't, then we go ahead and we call decommission executor, which can't. I'm concerned here. Let's take a look. What's this? These things have a lot over here, right? So we decommission the executor, and then the spark context says invoking stop from shutdown hook. Um, invoking a stop from shutdown hook. What was invoking stuff from the What mean? I wouldn't expect it to do. There's no exception being thrown. JVM isn't exiting. Executor. Okay. Cross grain scheduler backend. Scheduler decommission backend. Executor decommission. Where is it defined? Uh, task scheduler info. This is going, I don't know where this is going sideways. We're going to save that for another day. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, do I know where it's going? I feel like, I feel like I saw something and it was so close. It's, I feel like, okay, is it? Okay, driver and point. Stop executors. Stop driver. Uh, 
now. So, I only care about this if it's not null, and we don't actually log it for the failures anymore. So that's cool. Okay. This is the Okay, yeah. I think this is this is it. I think we're fine. I think we're good for the day. Uh, we skip our Okay, that's really it. That ended up being maybe 15 minutes more instead of 10 minutes more, but we'll call it a day. Thanks everyone for joining. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, I also have a new YouTube channel um, that I'm gonna try and post some of my adventures to. And I'll share that on Twitch right now uh, if anyone wants to subscribe to that. And that'll be my non-programming adventures, uh, which are going to go there. Anyways, so thanks everyone for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe. Open source is fun. I don't know. Whatever. Bye.